Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I'm back with another uh, reel of your stash and today we're going to focus on vellum because I know we have so many of it and we don't know what to do with it, me included, I've got tons of the stuff. So quickly I want to show you what I've been doing. Now this card is a one that I've made for my mum for Mother's Day and I just want to show you this because I think it's beautiful. And that's it there now it's all done on vellum and um, I've also done some dry embossing on it which we're going to do that today and I think that's turned out beautiful so I'm going to show you how I did that so I've made that and this one here this is really simple to do and also this was a disaster because the ink was too dark, I think, but I, I wanted to show you anyway. And this one is really fun. I'm going to show you how to do this. So um, I've got a piece of vellum <clears throat> and I've got my stamp and platform here. And the stamp is from Honeydew Crafts. I only got these a few days ago. So I'm going to put the vellum on. Now the vellum also for this one is honeydew because um, you need something with a little bit of weight to it. Uh, it's 150 GSM I believe. And I'm just going to put the stamp on there. And then I'm going to use my anti-static bag. So I'm going to ink this up. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour the leaves in green. Now you can colour the whole thing in with your alcohol pens if you want. You don't have to do any dry embossing. So I'm going to turn it over and the little leaves, I'm going to just quickly colour them in. So any kind of uh, alcohol markers will do, just whatever you've got. And then when you turn it over, it looks really, really pretty. Like I said, you could do that with all of them. So take your mat, turn it again on the reverse. And I've just got some little styluses, scoring stylus. And all I'm going to do is in the flowers, I'm just going to kind of press on and rub now you don't want to do it too hard because you don't want to go through and tear the vellum. I suppose you just kind of, it's, I suppose it's a little bit like colouring in but as I said you don't want to be too hard because you'll, you'll tear it. And then I'm going to show you this little petal here of what this looks like. And then I'll just get on and do the rest. So you want to kind of be aiming for it to go like white. And then when you turn it over, it just basically looks like they've been coloured in. See the difference from that one to that one. And then obviously if you feel like you've missed bits or you go back in, you can just go over again. So that's how you do that. I will quickly get on and finish this and I'll be... Okay, so I'll finish that. And doesn't that look absolutely beautiful? 
So get your vellum and have a go at this. I mean, it can be any kind of, you know, dye, any, sorry, any kind of stamp that you've got. You know, you just have an experiment, see what you, what looks you can get. And then obviously I showed you the card that I made with that one, which is for uh, my mum for Mother's Day. So I'm not really going to make cards with them today. I just want to show you what other things you can do. So that's that. Now the next one, if you have alcohol inks, um, I have a few with the dark lids. I don't have loads. Uh, I'm just going to grab some scrap paper here. So I've got another piece of vellum that I've cut. You will need some of the isopropyl alcohol. I'll put the link for where I get mine. Um, and I've just put it in a little bottle, like a little fine glue bottle, um, just so it comes out. Now I'm just going to use, again, I think the green and the red makes a nice effect. All I'm going to do is give them a shake. And then I'm just going to put some little drops, just like that. Take the alcohol and I'm just going to put a couple of drops on there. And I've got one of these little blowers. I think you can get them on eBay under a camera blower or something. It blows the dust off the camera lens. Or you could use a straw just blow through a straw but this kind of dries it at the same time which is pretty good and then I'm going to go in with the green I'm really sorry if you can hear shouting um, I've got really noisy neighbours that's another story, but um, I'm sorry if you can. I can definitely hear it. I just hope the camera's not picking it up. If it is, I apologise. Sorry, I'm here. Just the same to be running a taxi business or something from there. I think now all I can hear is people shouting over a radio. Okay, so I think that is really, really pretty. Now you want to make sure it's definitely dry because we're going to heat emboss on this now, and if it isn't dry, it's going to kind of pick it, um, you know, pick it up. On the ink and the stamp and we don't want that so you can all give it a little blast with the heat tool as well yeah I better just give it a quick little dry with this do make sure the lids are on so I've got another one of those honeydew stamps which is this one absolutely beautiful and I'm just gonna kind of stamp it like that and I'm gonna do it again um, I'm gonna heat emboss it with white powder this time I think it might look quite nice with white powder you still need to go over with your anti-static bag.
Now oh, isn't that absolutely stunning? And you saw that only took a few minutes to make. So I will make some cards with these, put them on Facebook in the next day or so, so you'll get to see what I've made with um, the ones that I've done already. But that is beautiful. Now, the last one, this is really fun actually. So, another piece of vellum. <clears throat> get that paper, that scrap paper back. Now, alcohol markers or permanent markers. I've just put a selection in a tubby so I can grab them. Now, I'm just going to get some colours. Now, I don't want them too dark this time. You can obviously, you know, use whatever colours you, you like. Just start to just put put it on the vellum any way you like, any way at all. Okay, that looks pretty cool already. I suppose if you wanted to, you could very much leave it like that and just have created your own kind of, you know, coloured patterned vellum. Definitely. So, all I'm going to do now is again this isopropyl alcohol, and I'm just going to put a little bit in the cap. You only need a little bit, and some kind of like brush. I actually found this from my nail art stuff because I, I do like to do nail art and things and I found that and I don't use it for my nails so I thought oh I'll nab that so just start tapping it on the vellum and I think you can see already you're getting this really cool effect where I suppose it's kind of like oxidising isn't it And then obviously you can do as much or as little as you like. So that is that on there. And then what I want to do now, actually, what I should say, what you could do is if you've got like butterfly dyes or flower dyes, you know, anything like that, you could then cut them out of that and it will give them like lovely backgrounds. So I'm going to just quickly dry this off again. just have them as actual card backgrounds completely so I've got this die and stamp set which I've never used I think I've only ever used one of the sentiments it's a crafter's companion one but you can use whatever you've got and it's a three step but I'm just going to use the top one here okay the stamp off the block pop that on there so wipe it again because we're doing some heat embossing I might not fit it that way no we'll pop it that way because it won't fit that way and then <clears throat> we're going to emboss it again
Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? Right, I will cut this out with the matching die. And I will be back in a second. Okay, there we go. And I think you can see that is just absolutely beautiful. So I've just created my own, you know, backgrounds using, you know, permanent markers, alcohol pens to create that. So you could have fun with flower dyes, all sorts of dyes. And there's the ones we've made there. So I hope you'll give it a try. I will turn these in to something and I will post them on Facebook. But um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. And I will hopefully be back next week. So thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.